nini mfame kwa yote unayoyatenda ajili yetu baba unatulinda unatulinda na mateso unatulinda na maajali unatulinda na mambo mengi tukupe nini mfame unatupa asubuhi ya leo unatupa muda wa kusikia neno lako tukupe nini mfame cha zaidi tunaomba utufungue masikio ya kiroho ili neno lako lipate nafasi ndani yetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa Nazareti ninaposimama niwe chombo tu bali wewe useme ndani yangu kufikisha ujumbe wako katika jina la Yesu tunaomba amen, amen. haleluya kanisa la bwana mbele ya kuendelea nimeona wageni vijana kutoka Newport News wapepeyo wapepeyo mali walipo amen amen eh kuna mmoja kupepea muda mrefu atukusanyie pamoja ndugu pepea haleluya vijana hao wanakuja kuiba music wanapenda tuwafundishe music kutoka Newport to vijana kutoka Newport News wameomba msaada huo na tuko tayari kuwasaidia naona leo tuna mambo mapya I see that today we have new things. Si mnajua kama Biblia yapata hivi na ingia mkanisa. You know that when we have such a big time. Tunahitaji watu wa kuikamata hivi. We need people to hold that Bible. Si mnajua kisu anafanya. You know how we do that. Lakini hatutafanya hivi. But we won't do that. You see it's very big. Amen. Hallelujah. We preach the matter level. Tunajiandaa kuwaletea mambo mazuri. We prepare we are preparing ourselves to bring you good news. Leo nina mambo mengi ya kuzungumza na kanisa. Today I have so many things to talk to the church. Au leo nina ujumbe wa kanisa. Oh today I have news for the church. Na ujumbe huo ni amani. And that news is peace. Neno amani. The word peace. Neno amani. The word peace. Ni msingi wa maisha ya mwanadamu. It's the foundation of the a human being's life. Kama wewe ni mteja wa kwenda mbinguni, if you're a person who wants to go to heaven, lazima uanze kujifunza kuwa na amani hapa duniani. It's the must that you prepare yourself to have peace while you're still on earth. Sababu a mtu asiye na amani hawezi kufika mbinguni. Kama hauna amani ndani ya moyo wako, ni vigumu hata walio jirani zako kupata amani. Kwa hiyo amani ni zawadi yetu tumepewa na Mungu. Swali ni kwako unayo amani? Uliza moyo wako nina amani. Tuna mambo mengi ya kusoma. Lakini tuna mambo machache ya kutafsiri. Uh, kila wakati ninapofikiri juu ya ibada ya jioni naona kwamba tuna inanionyesha tuna muda mdogo sababu wenye wana majengo ya kwao wanaingia wana ibada ya saa 4 na saa na nusu na hata wakifika saa nane, saa nane na nusu ingali mapema hawaoni kwamba wamechoka. E, mara nyingi huwa ninatazama makanisa makubwa. Wakati wanapofundisha ama kuhubiri inawachukua muda wa kutosha kutafsiri neno kwa neno ili watu waelewe. Nilipokuwa kwenye masomo kuna mafundisho ilikuwa inachukua masaa mawili. Kuru moja ilikuwa inakamata karansenke minute. Lakini ikifika wakati wa somo nzito au somo ngumu matematike na france. Walikuwa wanaunganisha ile karansenke minute mara mili. Ili mwalimu aweze kufundisha vizuri. So the teacher can teach very well. Na kama mwalimu hakufundisha vizuri well, kuna mtu anamkagua 
There is a person who helps them. They call that person an inspector. And when that inspector finds out that you're not teaching them, you the teacher, they fire you. Now the children of God, we have the big inspector who is God. What should we do with our little time? For the way we are going, we are not going very well. You yourself tell God. It's not our teachers. 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 So we don't get punished. Let's read John. 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 Chapter 14. Uh, verse 27. Uh, this time I won't need my glasses. The Bible is very big and the letters are very big. I'll try to read them. If I fail, I'll give other people to read it. John, for, John chapter 14. We are only going to read that one verse 27. Amani na waachieni. Amani yangu na wapa. Ni wapavyo mimi sivyo kama ulimwengu utowavyo. Msifadha aike mioyoni mwenu wala msiwe na woga. Amen. Let's read in Jesus' name. Peace I live with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Amen. Amen. Mungu atowavyo amani. God gives peace. Na ametupatia na sisi. And he has given it to us. Na amani ambayo ametupa. And that peace that he has given us. Sio amani ile wanadamu hutoa. It's not the peace that human beings give. Tuta... Jifunza kidogo amani za aina mbili. We are going to learn about two types of peace. Leo ni ni maubiri pia na mafundisho. Today I'm preaching and I'm also teaching. Kuna amani ya kweli inayotoka kwa Yesu. Um, there is true peace that comes from God. Na kuna amani ya ulimwengu. And there is peace that comes from the world. Amani ya Yesu Kristo The peace that comes from Jesus Christ Ni ile amani inayotoka katika uvumilivu It's the peace that comes from being patient Kusamehe Forgiving Utulivu Being humble Pamoja na furaha And together with happiness Ukisoma matayo mtakatifu When you read Matthew Makumi mbili na ine Chapter 24 Kumi na tatu Verse 13 Na ukisoma matayo And when you read Matthew Kumi mstari wa makumi mbili na mbili Chapter 10 verse 22 Utaona inasema nini Acha tusome moja kati ya hizo mbili You see what it says Let's read one of them Mtu alie tayari Atumilia Ata mishu Mie atai ukuka Amen Amen Hii amani ambayo natoka katika uhumilivu The peace that comes from patience Ni amani ya kweli It's true peace Atakaye vumilia paka mwisho dia atakaye okoka. The person who will be patient until the end is the one who will be saved. Sasa uvumilivu unapatanaje na amani. How does patient connect with peace? Wakati mtu ni mvumilivu. When a person is patient. Ni mtu anayeweza kujumbia amani yeye mwenyewe ndani yake. That person is able to create peace in their hearts themselves. Sababu uvumilivu. Because patient. Uja katika mambo ambayo yanakuja kuondoa amani yako. It comes through things that come to take away your peace. Mtu atakuja na kuvamia. A person can come and attack you. Na wakati huo mtu anapokuvamia. And when that person attacks you. Tayari amevuruga utaratibu wa amani yako. They have destroyed your peace. Lakini pamoja na uvumilivu Unayaona yale anoya tena Na kusema Jina la wana nivalikiwe Uko muheri wewe ambao ni mvumilivu katika ulimwengu huo Uko muheri wewe ambao ni mvumilivu katika ulimwengu huo 
very patient in this world. Because patient people are the ones who see the kingdom of heaven. Let's connect the word peace and forgiving. When you are a person who forgives, like the way we read Ephesians chapter 4, Na msari wa makumi mili na makumi tatu na mili. And verse 32. Ukiwa mtu wa kusame. When a person who forgives. Mtu wa kakutendea mambo mazito ya kufuruka. Someone who do something very bad. Utaratibu wa imani. Wa amani. To destroy your peace. Lakini uta kusame. But you just forgive them. Na enda zako. Just go. Na kusame. I forgive you. Na yule mtu wa kakosa chanzo. And that person will lose the. Cha kukufuruka. Zai na kwenda mbali to try to attack you or go back. Because inside your life you have forgiven them. You have already protected your peace. Utulivu. Patience. When you are humble, mtu atashindwa jinsi ya kukufikia na kuvuruga utaratibu wa amani yako. Kama wewe ni mtu wa furaha. Furaha inaonyesha sura ya mtu mwenye amani. Kuna mtu atakuwa na furaha. Wakati yuko kwenye umati wa watu. Na kuna mtu anakuwa na furaha mahali pote. Kuna mtu ana furaha. There is someone who is happy. Anapoona wageni nyumbani kwake. Only when they see visitors at their house. Lakini bila hivyo bila wageni. But without visitors. Ni vurugu tu. It's just hakuna amani. There is no peace. Tumetembelea kanisa fulani huko Fredericksburg. Visited a certain church in Fredericksburg. Akawa mhubiri alikuwa ametoka Afrika. There was a preacher who came from Africa. Akasema kuna familia ilikuwa na matatizo kati ya mke na mme. And he said there was a family that had trouble. Lakini wakiwa kanisani ni watakatifu. And the husband and the wife had problems but when they came to church Lakini wanaporudi nyumbani ni shida. They go back home it's a problem. Basi mwanamke akasema and then the wife said, Sababu tukiwa hapa tuna amani. Because when we're here we have to hamie kanisani. Let's come to the church. Ili tuendelee kuwa na amani. So we can continue to have peace. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Na kutakia amani ya kweli leo. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Jilinde kuwa chanzo cha kukosesha watu amani. Protect yourself from being the person who destroys other people's peace. Soma mizali. Read Proverbs. Sura ya tatu. Chapter three. Mstari wa makumi mbili na na mo na tisa. Verse twenty nine. Ana yeshi na wewe mizuri. You see, it will say to protect yourself from being the person who destroys other people's peace. Wa Israeli walipokuwa katika inchi ya utumwa when the israelites were in the country of slavery wamekuwa wavumilivu paka mwisho Mungu akawaokoa they were very patient until the end god saved them na kutakia uwe mvumilivu jina la bwana libarikiwe na kutakia uwe mtu wa kusamee i wish you to be a person na kutakia uwe mvumilivu i wish you to be a uwe mwenye furaha i am a person who is always happy sababu katika hayo because through this thing, your peace will continue to be protected. Let's go to the peace of this world. Our people in this world, in order to get peace, they need to get police. Police. They need to get people to protect them. 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 Ni watu wanaenda wanajihisi hapa nitafanywa vibaya. These people always have thinking am i going is something going to happen to me na neno la mungu zaburi 100 na makumi mbili na saba and the word of god in Psalm says walindao muji pasipo mungu wajichosha bure those who protect uh, a community without god they make themselves tired for no reason ah uh, wewe ulundike watu wengi you bring so many people together ili wakulinde so they can protect you. But you don't even believe them, those people who protect you. What's your peace? 
Tumeona maraisi wengi walio tafuta watu wa kuwalindia amani. Na kati ya hao ambao wanawalinda ndio walio waua. And amongst the people who are protecting them are the ones who killed them. Kuna watu wanaosafiri huko kwetu Afrika. There's some people who travel back home in Africa. Wanatafuta watu watawalinda usalama. They're looking for people to protect them. Watawaandalia chakula ili usalama wao uwe vizuri. They will prepare food for them so they can Wanapofika huko wanapata shida. When they reach there they get Sasa usalama wa kweli huko wapi? Where is true peace? Usalama wa kweli ni kwa Yesu. Usalama wa kweli ni kutoka kwa Mungu. Mpendwa. Ukiona katika maisha yako. Kuna mambo isiyoenda vizuri. Hapo kuna kitu kimechangia. Labda mambo ya ukoo kifamilia. Katika family yako hapo zamani wali, wali kuwepo watu wenye vurugu ndani ya, ya familia. Na mara nyingi hizo shida hizo pepo zinaenda zinahama kizazi kwa kizazi. Mpaka, mpaka siku utakapofunguliwa. Na mtu hufunguliwa anapochielewa kwamba yeye hana amani ama amefungwa. Kuna watu utakuta ili uelewe kwamba ndani ya familia hii kulikuwepo watu wenye vurugu. Utawapata hata kwa majina. Utasikia wa moja wanaitwa masumbuko. Utakutana wengine wanaitwa mateso. Na hata na majina mengine mengine ya mikwara tu. Ambayo inaonyesha kwamba huyu mtu hana amani mahali alipo. Kuna majina mengine mume anamwambia mke wake. Anatoa jina kwa mtoto akikomoa mke wake kwa ajili ya mateso anayompania. Kuna wengine wamama wanaita watoto majina wakikomoa waume zao gisu wanavyoishi ndani ya nyumba. Tuache hayo watoto wa mume. Sababu tunavyowaita majina hao kwa sababu ya shida tulizo nazo. Ndio tunavyohamisha yale mateso yale mateso ndani ya familia zetu. Nakutakia leo kufunguliwa jina la Yesu barikiwe. Nakutakia leo kufunguliwe na vikamba hivi vya wazazi. Kutokana na neno la Mungu ambao tumesikia katika Yohana sura ya 14 mstari wa 12 na 7 Inaonyesha kwamba amani ni zawadi tunayopewa na Mungu Na inaonyesha lazima kila mtu awe na amani Niwe na amani Mke wangu awe na amani. Watoto zangu awe na amani. Majirani zangu awe na amani. Mji wetu awe na amani. Nchi yetu iwe na amani. Watu wote tupate amani jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Lakini tujue kwamba tukiwa hapa ulimwenguni kuna mtu asiyetamani watu wapate amani. Na ndiye anayesababisha vita. Ndiye anayesababisha mateso. Ndiye anayesababisha magonjwa. Ndiye anayesababisha ndoa kuvunjika. Ndiye anasababisha vifo. Na mambo kadhalika. Ili sisi wanadamu tuumie na tukose amani. Kuna amani nyingine ambayo inapotea 
Kuna njia nyingine tunapoteza amani. Kutokana na habari. Familia huko imekosa amani. Na wewe zile habari zinakufikia. Na zinakukosesha amani. Kuna amani a, ambayo inapotea milele ama kuna amani ya muda inapotea kwa muda inatokana na wewe jinsi una control kichwa chako sababu Mungu ametupa mambo mawili mikononi chagua maisha au chagua uzima wa milele au zi, uh, moto wa milele kuna mtu hata utamsaidia namna gani yeye hataki amani yeye anachotaka asinge kwenye malengo yake furaha au amani sio kuwa na kila chote ambacho unatarajia kwa moyo wako tuko chini ya jua tunafunikwa Mungu anatufunika na anapenda tubaki kwenye kile kifuniko chenye Mungu ametufunika nacho lakini inafika kwenye akili ya mtu anaona kwamba kubaki kwenye uvuli wa, wa Mungu inamchosha anahitaji kuchana ile hema inayomfunika mpaka ainue kichwa kule juu Mungu atusamehe Rosa Muhando akaimba Mtoto unaweza kumubeba Unachukua hata kiblangeti kigumu Yeye anachukua kiwembe anakata tu mpaka achomoe mguu Ile wimbo inanifurahisha sana Tumeandaliwa amani Mungu ametuandalia amani Ametupatia amani ya kweli Sio ile amani ya walinzi ambao wanadamu wanatoa na amani ya Mungu ya kweli haikuwaje amani ya, ya muda muda mwingine inavurugika hapana no. ukijua kwamba una amani you know peace, utakuwa mwenye amani na watu wote watajua we ule mtu ni mwenye amani jina la Bwana libarikiwe tutafute kuwa wenye amani na Mungu atatubariki. Na unapokosa amani, dawa kubwa ipo. Ni kumwendea Yesu. Na kumwambia baba nahitaji amani. Ninahitaji kuishi maisha ya amani. Sababu amani umetupa. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Sema nahitaji kuwa mwenye amani. Naitaji kuwa mwenye amani. Naitaji kuwa mwenye amani. Sababu wenye imani, wenye amani ndio wataishi mbinguni. Shetani alikuwa mbinguni. Akaleta vurugu. Mungu akampiga kike chini. Huko mbinguni hatuwezi kwenda na na, na vurugu. Na hakuna aliyeumbwa apotee milele hakuna. Sisi wote tumeumbwa twende kuishi milele na Mungu wetu. Kitu gani kinakukosesha amani? Kitu gani kinakukosesha amani? Mtu mwenyewe anaweza kusababisha amani. A siku moja mara nyingi huwa natoa mifano yangu. Sababu nikitoa mfano wa mwingine atanichukia. Nilichukosesha amani. Nilikuwa mtoto mdogo. Labda wa miaka kumi au tisa sikumbuke. Nikaenda kwenye shamba la wazazi kulinda mpunga. Sasa mama alikuwa ameniambia siri. Wale watu ni wabaya ni wachawi. Uwe hange kusiwa na kula vyakula ovyo ovyo. Sasa walikuwa wamelima shamba kando ya shamba la kwetu. Na 
ni mimi ilikuwa ni zamu yangu ya kwenda kulinda mponga yule mama ambaye mama alikuwa na hadithia akawa amepata chakula naye ameenda kuchunga mponga huko and the man ule mimi nikamwambia walitukataza tusikule wewe ni mchawi tayari hapo nimekuruga sasa habari ikamfikia mama kwamba nimetokoa siri mama akachukua fimo anipige mimi nikatoroka je amani ipo pale nilichofanya sipenda mbali Nilifichama kwa nyumba ya mbuzi. Mkubwa yangu akajua niko cool. Nimefichama. Nimekimbia. Nimekimbia sababu ya nini? Sina amani. Na mimi mwenyewe nimesababisha kutokuwa na amani. Basi walinitafuta wakanitafuta wakanikosa. Bila mkubwa yangu alikuwa na juu. Mtu akiwa mkubwa amepitia tu vitu vingi. Na hiyo ndio ilikuwa makosa yangu ya mingi sana tu ma trouble 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 ndani ya familia. And that's always what I did in the family. Na ninapofanya tu ma trouble ninajifanya sio mie ni fulani alifanya. And every time I do something I was saying Acha niseme Mungu anisamehe. Acha niseme Mungu anisamehe. Kwa hiyo watoto wa Mungu unaweza ukajisababishia kukosa amani angalia ni kitu gani kinasababisha unakosa amani na utengeneze maisha yako wewe binafsi amani ni wewe binafsi amani ni roho yako unavyoicontrol amani ni akili yako unavyoicontrol Ujaribu uwezavyo. Sababu tuna vita. Kuna yule mwanatia na trabo. Lakini kuna yule anatusaidia tusiende kwenye trabo. Kwa, kwa hiyo watoto wa Mungu. Hivi zote mnavyoona. Shida zote mnazoona tunapitia. Kuna kitu kinacho sukuma hiyo kitu. Na tafuta amani na watu wote sababu ukipata amani na watu wote itakusaidia ah oh, ni kuna kitu ninachojifunza mara nyingi ndani ya maisha yangu kujilinda kuwa na maadui wengi na ni inanisaidia namna gani ninapochikuta nina tatizo na mtu lazima nipige hatua nimfikie yule mtu tutengeneze jina la bwana libarikiwe sababu kama hujatengeneza na yule mtu tayari kuna uadui kati yako na wewe na hamwezi mkapata amani ninyi wawili kati yako na yeye jamani tutafute amani na watu wote ndipo tutaishi maisha mazuri hapa duniani na huko mbinguni Ah, ni kusema unapokuwa na amani unatembea hauna wasiwasi unalala hauna wasiwasi unaishi hauna wasiwasi lakini kila mara unapojihisi kwamba hauna amani maisha yako yako hatarini neno la Mungu limetuambia kwamba tusiwe waoga na unapokwisha kuwa mwoga tayari ni mwanzo wa kukosa amani sababu roho yako haina amani na inakuletea shida ya magonjwa ya ya pressure and it causes you to have high blood pressure wapendwa tunapokubali kuishi kunyenyekea chini ya ukuli wa Mungu aliyotujengea tutaishi maisha marefu tutaishi maisha marefu kila mara unapojirudikia maadui wewe maisha yako ni mafupi na hautajua maisha yako yameenda wapi ah zaburi inatuambia 
Tuache mabaya tukatende mema. I'm start doing bad things and do good. Sijui kama tunaweza soma. I don't know if we can read that. Bado muda mnaona unaruhusu. Do you see that we still have time to read that? Watu someme ma 13 na 4 mstari wa 14. Let's read Psalms chapter 34 verse 10. tuifuate Tusijiite wenye amani. Wewe unaweza ukajiita mwenye amani. Lakini labda kuna majirani zako wanakosa amani juu yako. Ndani ya nyumba. Tusiwe watu wa vurugu. Tusiwe watu wa kufoka foka. Hapana itaharibu amani yako. Utajijua kwamba wewe ni mwenye amani. Lakini wengine walio karibu nako hawataona amani. Kufoka foka sio heshima. Hapana kufoka haileti heshima. Kutishia watu haileti heshima. Unaweza ukanyenyekea na heshima yako ikao ikaendelea kupanuka jina la Bwana ibarikiwe. Kuna njia ya kufikia amani na watu wote. Ni ule utulivu. Uvumilivu. Furaha. Kusamehe. Hatuwezi tukaishi duniani kama wa malaika iwezekani. Lazima tutafaruzana. Lakini tukifaruzana Bibi anasema tusishinde na hasira tangu asubuhi mpaka jioni tukalala nazo. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Mahali pa furaha Mahali pa kwanza ni kanisani. Sababu hapa Mungu yupo. Na unapofika mahali hapa. Jiandae kuwa na amani. Ndio maana unakuta wachungaji na waendeshaji. Eh kanisa, simame tuimbe. Tuabudu Mungu. Hapana umejua umekuja hapa kutafuta furaha na amani. Lazima wewe mwenyewe ujipange sawa sawa. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Leo kuna mtu atafunguliwa. Kuna mtu atafunguliwa pepo ya trabo. Hivi ndivyo ninavyosemaga kila siku. Amen. Na lazima tunaona kitu. And huko tayari. Utaenda kusoma wa Kolosai. Sura ya tatu mstari wa 15. Nataka kukomboa muda. Kuna watu wamenipigia asinye. Kwamba kuna kasi kuna mchuzi huko. Sitaki kuvuruga amani ya watu. Nataka furaha zetu zote ziendelee na amani yetu endelee jina la Bwana barikiwe. Lakini mpendwa. Hatutaacha kukuombea. Tunataka tuombe na wewe. Tunajua kuna pepo. Kuna kuna wajumbe wa kuzimu. Kuna wajumbe wa shetani. Kuna madhabahu ya shetani. ambayo imesimama kukosesha watoto wa Mungu amani. Wewe unajaribu uwezavyo. Lakini kila mara unachifuta uko kwenye trouble. Mpendwa sio wewe. Kuna kitu kinasababisha ukosi amani. Na ondoa kila mizizi yote ambayo wewe unasababisha ukosi amani. Nilipokuwa mtoto nilikuwa na tumatrabo twa mingi. Lakini siku nimepokea uamsho. Siku nimepokea roho wa Mungu. Yale yote yametoweka. Na kila siku ya ibada kila nikijua nimekuwa na trouble 
ni kwa mtu wa kushuka chini kupiga magoti ikafika wakati nikasema acha mimi mwenyewe sitapiga tena magoti juu ninapiga magoti zami narudilia inarudilia nikaambia moyo wangu sitapiga magoti tena bali ninataka nichukue decision jina la bwana libarikiwe nakumbuka wakati mchungaji ile zeta alisimama hapa kuna neno nzuri alilisema tunatubu zambi lakini hatutubu mwanzo wa zambi hiyo neno ilikuwa mara ya kwanza naisikia kwa mtumishi na nilikuwa sijaisikia kwa mtu mwingine kumbe tunajifunza kila siku unaweza ukatubu matukio ya zambi lakini ndani yako hujangoa kinachosababisha ile zambi na hautapona kila siku utakuwa mwenye trouble lakini siku utagundua siri inayosababisha wewe unakosa amani na kumwambia Mungu na kumwambia Mungu utapona na utakuwa mwenye amani na maisha yako itabadilika ndugu mpendwa Mungu yuko hapa anataka kufungua siku ya leo kama utakubali kama utajijua kama unataka Mungu akufungue maisha yako yaende kubadilika karibu mpendwa tunaenda kumaliza mpendwa tunataka kumaliza nafikiri somo ambao tulikuwa nayo tumejaribu uwezekanavyo kwenda haraka na kutafsiri kama kama Mungu alivyotuongoza sasa ujumbe unaenda kuisha lakini siwezi toka hapa sijaomba na wewe kama uko mwenye amani Mungu akubariki lakini kama uko mwenye kukosa amani njoo tuombe pamoja Mungu yuko hapa anaenda kutenda kitu kwa maisha yako Mungu yuko hapa anataka kutenda kitu kwa maisha yako. Acha niombe kanisa tusimame. Kuna wale wanasubiri kawimbo. Wale wanasubiri kawimbo kanapoimbiwa. Nipo wanapata uwepo wa kusogea ili wapate msaada wa maombi. Na hatutaki kwenda mali. Hatutaki kwenda mali. Lakini mtu akikuuliza, "Bwana watu wote, na Mungu atakubariki. Naomba ndugu asimame ili tuombe tu yao. Karibu watumishi wa Mungu. Tusaidie wa ndugu. Mungu tunaweza simama. You can stand up. Naweza mkasimama. Tunaenda kuomba. Tunaenda kuomba. Na nitampa mtumishi wenzangu Pastor Joseph. Atapaza sauti. Bwana uitachie amani. Najua mnayo amani. Lakini mnataka amani zaidi hiyo inafurahisha Mungu. Karibu na wewe kama unahitaji. Labda unayo amani lakini unataka zaidi. Karibu mpendwa.
Amen. 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 One mother had one they brought her and they're the one to so there's something that Jesus he bent down his head after writing everybody stands away amen amen it means that under the sun there's a way amen, amen. 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 Hata ujifunge funge kwenye kiti au utakuwa mtakatifu na mimi sitakuwa mtakatifu maana tungali chini ya jua Amen Amen Mchungaji ameongea neno nzuri la amani Amani tunaweza kuikosa hata hatukufanya dhambi Mazingira tu ambayo tunaishi yanasababisha tukose amani Acha nikupe mfano ulio sahihi. Unaweza ukatamani upate kazi. Alafu wanakupatia kazi. Unafika kwenye kazi. Unaona ama kama ni mateso. Wakati mwingine unaona kazi inakuwa ngumu. Unaanza fikiria ndani ya moyo. Kwa nini nifanye kazi? Je, hakuna kazi zingine? Huko natumika unakosa amani. Amen amen. Hey, hiyo nani kukosa amani? Jongo wa Yesu mwambie Bwana nitie nguvu. Niweze kufanya kazi yangu kwa amani. Amen. Yapo mambo mengi yanaweza kutukosesha amani. Sio dhambi tu wapendwa. Hata mama mjamzito. Wakati mwingine mimba inaweza kumfanya kose amani. Maumivu ya mwili. Hata anasema kwa nini nilichukua mimba? Amen amen. Vipo vitu vingi vinaweza tukosesha amani. Lazima macho yetu yaone mbali sana wakati mimi nakuja. Amen. Amen. Siko kuhubiri. Lakini nitamani niongee hayo kwa machache. Amen. Asante kwa wema wako na pendo lako. Asante kwa kutupatia amani. Tulikuwa tumeteseka muda mrefu. Tulikuwa tumekosa amani bila kujua sababu. Mungu wetu asante kutufunulia siri baba ya kupata amani nayo dumu sio amani ya wasiwasi wala ya muda tupe uvumilivu tupe kusamee tupe amani tupe upole tupe Mungu wetu furaha ndani ya maisha yetu ndio tunayoomba kwako umesema tuombe chochote tutakacho nawe utatupatia Mungu tukiomba hayo tunaamini mengine utatuzidishia Baba ninaenda kubariki kanisa lako ambalo umelikusanya kutoka kona kwa kona wachungaji wasingeliweza kuwakusanya lakini kwa mkono wako umewakusanya umetukusanya pamoja ae Mungu ili tukuabudu Mungu pokea maabudu ya watoto wako wa siku ya leo kila aliyekanyaga mguu wake mali hapa apokee baraka zake ulizomwandalia kwa siku ya leo asante Mungu acha neno lako liende pamoja nasi Mungu wetu mtakatifu utupe kuepukana na kuwa chanzo cha kukosesha amani wengine bali utupe kuwa chanzo cha kutangaza amani kwa watu wote Asante Mungu asante mfalme bariki wadogo kwa wakubwa bariki watoto wetu wadogo bariki wanafunzi bariki madereva wetu bariki wanaofanya kazi bariki na wale wajapata kazi wapate kazi bariki mikono ya watoto wako bariki mikono ya kanisa bariki kanisa iendelee kupanuka sawa sawa na mapenzi yako sio sawa sawa na mapenzi ya wanadamu e Mungu tusaidie e Mungu tubariki baba ninaenda kubariki kila familia ambayo iko mahali hapa uwe jibu kwa mahitaji ya kila umoja e mfalme e mtakatifu tunaomba wingu lako liendelee kutufunika tunakumbuka walio kwenye safari tunakumbuka hata wageni wetu wa siku ya leo wana safari za kurudi nyumbani acha watakaporudi Mungu wao ni mkono wako acha furaha iendelee kupanuka Mungu uwe wa kwanza katika kurudi nyumbani kama ulivyotuleta mahali hapa 
Tunaomba mkono wako katufunike wiki nzima utulinde magonjwa utulinde maajali utulinde maaksida utulinde na kila mitego yote ya ibilisi hata utupe amani kwenye familia zetu asante baba tunakuonyesha hata wiki ijayo tutakapokusanyika tunaomba mkono wako ukawe pamoja nasi tunakataa kila pepe ya mauti tunakataa kila pepe ya maajali tunakataa kila aina yote ya pepo kutukosesha amani acha amani yako idumu pamoja nasi sote asante tunaomba ya machache tukiamini utatenda zaidi ya maombi yetu neema ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na pendo la Mungu na ushirika wa Roho Mtakatifu yambatane nasi sote sasa na hata milele sote tuseme amen 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 na Mungu akubariki kwa pamoja tusalimiane kwa furaha